We want to talk now about running the three route versus cover two. And when we see a cover two look, the free safety is generally the one who moves over to the boundary hash. And what we found is that a lot of times they won't play right on the hash. He'll play, he'll shade over to the boundary side to be able to get to this X a little bit easier. And so when he moves over, that corner will rotate down, play head up or play outside, be funnel him into the will linebacker or the free safety. Okay, this will linebacker, as we know, as soon as cover two happens, we put a little box around him to alert us that he's the free guy that they have now. He's their blitz guy. He's the guy that can come off the edge. And we've seen five technique up the field will come around, or the other way, five technique come inside, will come outside. So we've seen all those blitzes, but he's their, he's their wild card. They, because they put three on two into the boundary, we know who the blitzer is, right? Now they could blitz the free safety and let the will play the, the slot man, but we've never seen that. And, and um, you know, that would be putting, that this would have to be a DB, which would kind of tip you off. But we have seen people play defensive backs there. Over on the field side, in order to get to two deep, this strong safety backs up and the corner rotates down. So if we've been throwing the hitch route to the, to, and the three route, hitch to the W on the field side, that they can rotate that corner down to take care of that. If they want to take care of the post with the Z route, then they can put the strong safety over top of that, and he's in a little bit better position to play that a little tighter. The first thing we always do as soon as somebody plays too deep and we're in a 3 by 2 or a 3 by one is we're going to immediately go to the field side because we're 3 on 3. The throw that we like here is this read is still good. One of the things that we know now is this usually ends up getting played a little bit tighter. So he moves in just a little bit versus three deep because he knows that he's going to wall, wall everything and funnel it toward the safety. So this becomes a little tighter. And uh, he still takes his three-step slant and he's going to work in there. The quarterback's still going to look straight through the slant. And if he can hit the slant in the first window, he will. Although we, we have a good idea that that's going to tighten up a little bit, and that the same linebacker will trail that and maybe reroute that route uh, a little, little harder than he would if it was in 3D. And so the throw we really like is this, this post throw. Um, anytime we see a slot and he has a 2D safety over top of him, then we immediately want to throw a post. We want to throw a corner, we want to throw an in route. So we have one of our best routes against this too deep to want to throw this post route. Uh, the safety has to backpedal versus this stem. And this is a seven step post because he's not sure which way, when he's at the top, this Z is at the top of his stem, that he's going to break. If he's going to break inside of the post, break inside of the corner, or he could settle it down right here, what we call an in route. So we know he has to backpedal and wait for that break. And he can't come up and walk down and try to play this really hard. So the quarterback will look through the slant. He sees that covered. He's immediately going to throw that post route versus 2D. Over on the boundary side against 2D, uh, what we'll be looking for is we'll be looking for this comeback throw. We know that this corner is taught to reroute or funnel him inside, and we're okay with that. And he'll get to a certain point, and he's got to sneak a peek at this A route. He sees this A route, A route going vertical. He's gonna, he's gonna have stopped, and he's gonna try to find that um, X receiver again. What we see happen quite often here is that he actually lets him go, and then works inside of him a little bit. And we've been able to throw that on the back side, right in that area. Throw that right in that area, that backside area, kind of behind the back of that corner route. Because he, as he's widened and as he's given up uh, or, or got off of the X route, he ends up over uh, inside there. So when we're running the comeback and we got our guy coming downhill, we can throw it behind that corner's route. Okay.
We, we, if the will linebacker blitz happens, then the quarterback knows right away if he's reading into the boundary that he's going to throw this fade hole throw and beat this free safety from coming over there. Ball snap, free safety's going to backpedal. He, he's going to see number two, which he's going to read two to one. He's going to start heading over, but we're going to throw that um, versus this blitz right in that hole, fade hole throw. And that's why we, we like that area, that fade hole area, that 12 to 15 yard area. So to the boundary side, he's going to read comeback to fade hole throw. If he gets a blitz off the edge, then he's going to go right to the fade hole throw and throw that now. It's kind of that, that uh, wide dump or tight end dump concept. And that's the two route, the three route versus cover two.